U.S. banking regulators are expected to approve a final version of the Volcker Rule on Tuesday. The rule, named for former Fed Chairman Paul Volcker, who pressed for something like it, would bar a bank with federally insured deposits from making speculative trades that could threaten its stability. The Volcker Rule is intended to limit so-called proprietary trading by banks, and these are commercial banks, investment banks. That is essentially trading for their own profit. The banks have said such a ban could also prevent them from doing what the customers might want, such as making trades to offset the risks in a particular investment. But when J.P. Morgan made an ill-conceived bet that ultimately cost the bank $6 billion, regulators began rethinking certain exemptions. So the regulators have essentially said that uh, they believe it would have stopped that from happening. Regulators have struggled to draft specific language, and Hamrick says that's partly due to special interest groups. There have been 17,000 public comments, and we know that the long arm of lobbyists is certainly uh, extended into that rulemaking as well. Some investors say, however the law is written, it's important for regulators to keep pace with the changing face of business. If we stay with older rules that prevent companies from growing and expanding, we're going to see ourselves in uh, uh, the same trouble that we saw in 2008. It's hard to know how effective the rule will be, and its complexity could make enforcement difficult. Warren Levinson, Associated Press.